What's up, guys? Here we are back with another reaction here today. Links in the description if you are interested in any music that I created is available below for free, of course, for free. But anyways, we're gonna get uh, cracking on this song here. Oh yeah, Spotify. Everybody, everybody has this stuff, right? Everybody makes music, so it's it's hard to stick out. You just gotta check me out. I do like some weird progressive thrash type thingy. So just you know. If you're interested in that kind of shit, check it out. If not, we'll go on with the reaction here. We've got Blackstone Cherry, Me and the Devil Blues. I have heard Blackstone Cherry. I've heard at least five or six songs. All were pretty good. I don't have any complaints. I mean, it was a very cool sound. It's very Southern rock influenced. has a little bit of the modern rock and metal. Um... It's not, not as much metal, but there's, there's little hints of like, oh, yeah, these guys have uh, kind of a Volbeat, like Volbeat style of metal, right? Like Volbeat technically plays somewhere between hard rock and metal. They're kind of in the middle, and that's not an insult. Everybody thinks that there's like this, this – I don't have this elitism of like metal musicians are better than rock musicians. That's just not true. A lot of the rock guys know how to play metal stuff. They just like writing rock songs. They just like playing rock music. They like playing in front of rock crowds. They prefer rock as a genre, as a genre. And I don't, I don't demean anybody for that. It's just like blues guys. Blues guys, blues guys don't like metal. Okay, most of them don't like metal at all. But you know, I still love the blues. I love Joe Bonamassa. I love John Mayer. I love fucking uh, Mike Zito and Bernard Allison and all these guys who are uh, out there. You know, Josh Smith. Josh Smith is an incredible guitar player. I love a lot of these blues guys, and uh, that's why Blackstone Cherry kind of appeal appeals to me because it's got a little bit of that uh, southern rock, which is very, very blues influenced. Um, but let's check this out. We got Blackstone Cherry, Me and the Devil Blues. Me and Satan uh, was walking side to side. Uh, so everybody knows raw takes always sound like Satan. garbage because they're not churched up. Was walking side by side. Hey, John. But that's what he actually sounds like. That's good I'm singing ready. if you hear it in the room. Without all the like reverb and shit. Uh. See, Southern Rock has the groove, and the groove is this what matters, dude. Oh, I'm digging this. Little funky. They're playing off the back beat. I don't know if they've had any member changes, but, uh, yeah. So I don't know a whole lot about this band, so if you have info, go ahead and chime in in the comments. I'm digging this. The blues feel, I mean, I, they were more rock before, but this is definitely more funk and blues right here. I just see a chicken foot shirt. Little Sammy Hagar and Satch action. Chad Smith's all the way in that band, which is, he's a ridiculous drummer from Red Hot Chili Peppers. 
they have Michael Anthony on the base? I think Michael Anthony is on the base too. Fuck yeah. I'm digging this. This might be a record I go uh, fucking buy. I'm, I'm digging the shit out of this. It's like heavy blues. I love that shit. He's got a killer voice too. Fuck yeah. Digging this. This is good shit. That's pretty awesome. All tasty licks. They were classic blues licks, okay? It's not like nobody's ever played those before. But the thing about the blues is it's supposed to be an homage at all times. So the intention of it being an homage is is there from the get-go. And uh, yeah, they did a great job. I, I loved it. I thought it was I thought it was awesome. I mean, it was really cool to hear blues. And it, to know that those guys actually get radio play now is fucking awesome because we need more of that shit and less of the the cookie cutter stuff that everybody's copying and pasting. We need more stuff. It's like, hey, this is this is a mix of old and new. This is a mix of funk, rock, and blues all in one. It does a great job. And they do get heavier. I mean, I've heard songs where they are definitely, there's metal influences in there. And uh, that's really cool to hear that big stretch of stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out the video. Until next time, laters. The last few moments of this wild ride we call life could just be a transition from world to world. It could simply be an astral transformation from one consciousness to another. Fractals are thought to be the connection between us and the other worlds of the multiverse. The light we are asked to follow at death is a fractal. When you are not their conscious, you see fractals. If you're lost in the astral plane of a psilocybin-induced journey, you sometimes see fractals. These broken, seemingly random structures of light are filled with crazy mathematical perfection, yet are far from perfect in the naked eye. Could the door to the ever-vast, ever-expanding, ever-changing multiverse be guarded by the light of these fractals? Does immortality truly exist? The only way to know is desire.